Welcome back to The Breakfast. As always, we go back in history and share with you major uh, events that happened today um, in history. We are looking at something that I'm um, starting rather with something that happened today in the year 2012. It was in a period where the Boko Haram sect was running wild across Nigeria. And um, of course, uh, the government was still struggling at that time to understand and to deal with the uh, problem. Um, on this day in the year 2012, a prison was broken into and 118 inmates were uh, freed from that prison. It says at least 118 escaped from the Nigerian prison after gunmen bombed their way inside and of course killed a guard during the shootout. It's located in the central town of Kotong Karifi, around uh, 120 meters, uh, kilometers southwest of the capital, Abuja. Um, of course, uh, for people who were there, they said there were about 20 uh, men on motorcycles who rode up to the prison, fired at the guards, set off the bomb at the gate, and um, freed specific members, uh, mostly belonging to the sect Boko Haram, while, of course, others took to their heels and ran um, and uh, escaped uh, prison. Um, a, a person called Abul Kaka, who was cl claimed to speak on behalf of the Boko Haram, said the group staged a raid in a bid to free seven of its members. Uh, at that time, there was a, a particular person who was um, um, an uh, assistant or a second to Muhammad Yusuf, who was the Boko Haram leader um, um, that died in 2009 before the crisis con you know, escalated completely. He was one of those that was suspected to uh, be the targets of this attack and this uh, prison break. Uh, they also, the Boko Haram sector, also launched a similar prison break in Bauchi State in September 2010 that freed about 700 inmates. The group, of course, continued their reign of terror um, in the year 2012 with bomb blasts and, and more killings and shootings in churches and in schools and, and uh, the rest of it. You remember also later on, um, the uh, Chibok girls were also kidnapped by the same sect. But for this day, it was on this day that 118 um, uh, prisoners were escaped or were released from a prison in Koton uh, Karifi. Uh, it is uh, said to be 120 kilometers southwest of Abuja, somewhere in Kogi State. Quite interesting. Uh, turning quickly now to the other event happened today in history it was today, February 15th, uh, 2011. It was the first civil war in Libya. Now, what happened was this period, there had been like from the 4th of February, uh, 2011 in Libya, there had been calls on the internet for protests. They had picked a date. It was going to be February uh, 17th. 2011 but on the 15th of february you know this day in history a group of about 200 protesters gathered outside the police station in you know libya they were protesting against the arrest of a libyan activist and uh, eventually the crowd grew to up to 500 to 600 people protesting you know the arrest of this guy a police station was burnt you know there was demonstrations violence you know there are about you know, counts about 40 people were injured, you know, during this protest between the police and the people. So the, basically, this, the civil war, which began on 15th February 2011, you know, it was a chain of civil protests that later evolved into widespread uprising. This was against the regime of uh, Muammar oh. Gaddafi. And uh, eventually, you know, some protesters and some of the government forces, you know, took parts of the city, took parts of the country. And uh, at the end of the day, United Nations Security Council passed a resolution on the 26th of February, freezing the assets of Gaddafi, his inner circle, and restricting them to travel. Now, the aftermath of this civil war was a low-level insurgency by uh, former Gaddafi loyalists. As you know, this went on, you know, to what we know as, you know, the events for today. And uh, this just reminds me a bit of what's happening here in Nigeria and what even, even happened last year with the NSAS protests, you know, people protesting against arrest of, you know, activists and how that eventually turned out. But uh, it's quite different seeing how the police, you know, claimed to intervene. We saw uh, the Buhari spokesperson saying the police conducted themselves well Professional. and all of that. Sorry? Yeah, go with professionally. Yeah, so saying the, even though lots of people uh, would beg to differ, you know, but that's, that's eventually what happened today in history, 15 February 2011. You know, the civil war in Libya began today. So it, it, it's, um, for me, the angles I want to I wanna point out are, you know, from, you know, our guest earlier, Ali Brasushamad, mentioned that Nigeria seems to be sitting on a, a ticking time bomb, mm -hmm. you know, and 
um, these you know things that are happening today with the tribal you know issues here and there, and um, of course with the NSARS protest, you know th these are they seem to be signs of you know frustration in different you know parts of the country, um, and. Libya happened, people would argue that Libya happened because maybe it was sponsored by the West, or it was, you know, um, part of the Arab Spring at that time. But um, you can never take away the fact that for that many people to be tired of their government and want to change, some may have been sponsored, some may have generally or generally wanted a change in government and, you know, took part in it. Um, and the fear really is that at some point Nigeria might get there where you have more and more people who say we are sick of this and we would rather stand on the streets and ensure that we have a changing government you know or we're not going and we're, we're ready to die a lot of people died in the during the Arab Spring a lot of people died in Libya before Muammar Gaddafi was eventually captured and killed um, but if we're not careful here uh, it seems to be where we're headed. There's still people online that you see today who say, oh, you know, these people should go inside and stop disturbing, you know, the peace of Lagos. These people should stop making noise. You know, and they defend, um, um, you know, what, you know, I would call their own personal interests, which is absolutely fine. But there's also a growing number of people um, who would say that we're entirely and completely tired of this. So we as a people need to be more careful. The government itself needs to be more present and needs to be more aware of what the times are showing, what these signs are showing, um, so we don't get to where Libya got. Exactly. That's not a very fantastic example where they are at the moment. So we have lots of time to fix, fix our mistakes, and we do hope the government does exactly that. So that's so, uh, what happened today in history, February 15th, 2011, and, the uh, first Libyan civil war. And of course, one year after, it was a prison break here in Nigeria by the Boko Haram sect to free um, associates of Mohamed Yusuf and Kabiru Sokoto, um, as uh, those names were very, very popular back then. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we're going straight into talking about what happened on Saturday, the 13th, at the Lekki Gate. I was there for a few you know, minutes, um, and I'll share my own, of course, uh, experience when we come back. <laughs> 